want to give a special thanks to Moose for sending us these toys for free. What's up, miniature collectors and gift givers? Here is another My Froggy Stuff Buyer's Guide. Today, we are taking a look at Real Littles. Wait a minute, where's the Shopkins? And now it says, things you love made micro. Okay, so first we had oh so real mini packs, where the mini packs were themed after real brands and there was a Shopkin inside. Then we got real littles, real brands, real cute. I absolutely love these. And now we have real littles, things you love made micro. Backpacks. Okay, okay, so this is something totally new. All surprises really work. Over 55 surprises to collect, just in time for back to school. We've got a whole box here, thanks to the awesome people over at Moose. So I'm just gonna open this up so we can take a look and hopefully find something for the dollhouse. At the bottom of the display, we can see examples of some of the surprises we may find inside the backpack. On the side of the box, it says, what will you find? Stickers, erasers, notebooks, pencils, folders, envelopes, colored pencils, sticky tape, ruler, candy highlighter, and you can see the actual scale. That's looking a little large for one six scale. I know what you're gonna say, Toya. There's more to the world than just one six scale. And I'm gonna say, not in the miniverse. Online, we have seen these priced at $7.99 each. The packaging is clear. It says real littles, backpacks in the top corner. At the bottom, it says six surprises to collect. This side is clear. On this side, it says all surprises really work. On the back, there is a listing of the possible surprises. Let's open this up, take out the backpack, and that was a pretty easy unboxing. Yay! This is a pretty glitter backpack. It's like a vinyl, it's nice and shiny. We have zipper in the front, a zipper on top. There are little straps in the back, and we have a little D ring that's metal and removable. Let's open the front. The little zipper works, that's awesome. Inside we have something, what is that? Is that a surprise? Well, if you like tissue paper it is, but it is good to know that that pocket actually works. Okay, so now we're gonna open up the main part and here are the surprises. This must be a candy highlighter. It opens, yep, definitely a candy themed highlighter. Okay, and then another highlighter. This one looks like uh, a popsicle and someone's already taken a bite out of it. How do we, how do we open this? I assume this comes off. Yes, there we go. All right, there's another highlighter. So we have two highlighters and we have a pencil a real tiny pencil like the kind you get when you go play miniature golf and a ruler it's a real ruler in centimeters and the wood feels like bamboo so that's pretty cool i actually have use for this whenever we do 3d printing everything's in like centimeters so this will be really convenient while working on more 3D prints. What else is in there? That is an eraser. It's a cactus in a pot, and this is a pretty popular little eraser. I think we bought some like these a few years back when we were doing some back to school hauls. And we have um, paper hearts. <gasps> They're sticky notes. Little tiny sticky notes. A little bit of stickiness to them. Wow, really tiny messages here. That's like super small. And I think that's it. Yes, we've emptied the backpack. Everything is functional, so you can have fun writing tiny messages 
on tiny sticky notes with a tiny pencil. The cactus can totally be used in the dollhouse, and we can use the ruler with our 18 or 24 inch dolls. But what about the backpack? Here is Mini Toya, and she's gonna test out that backpack for us. Well, the good news is the straps fit. It is possible to put the backpack on a 12 inch doll, but it is a fairly large backpack. But I like how it's really functional. The zippers really work so we can put all kinds of things inside like books and dolls and toys and action figures. Oh wait, wait, I think this is like for school, so um, books. I know it seems like the scale is off just a little, but I've seen some giant backpacks in my day, so I'm not mad at it. We can try to balance it out with a doll with a larger head, like a Rainbow High doll, it doesn't look too bad on her. Yeah, I kind of like it a little better on her. Since her body proportions are already off, I don't mind it so much with the book bag being off. Here's a smart doll wearing the bag on just one shoulder. If we change the straps, it would totally work. These backpacks come in a variety of colors. Here is a pink camo. Here's a silver glitter. This is a purple silver glitter, gold dots. This bag has a lot of texture. Ooh, metallic rainbow. And this one is blue and pink. The colors kind of fade. It reminds me of watercolors. Let's open it and see if we get some different surprises this time. This is pretty cute. And even if we don't use it on our dolls, this might be a fun accessory to just put in a doll room. You know, just chilling in the corner somewhere. Hey, and look at that. We do have different accessories this time. We have some tape and color pencils. The color pencils are mini, and these would be a perfect size for like an 18 inch doll. Maybe even a smart doll. Here is a composition book with real pages. They are blank pages, but that's a nice little mini book. Totally putting this in our smart doll room. And we have a teeny tiny folder. It's a real folder with pockets. That's pretty cute. Once again, perfect for our larger dolls. And stickers. Oh, cute little lava lamp. These are puff stickers. There is a little bit of dimension to them. Stickers are great to use in folding doll rooms. Just saying. And last, we have more heart sticky notes. The tape has a pattern on it. It's like a foil tape with stars. So those are the kind of items you can expect to see in the Real Littles backpacks. Let's open one more. Those little composition books look great for writing down crafting ideas on the go. Let's see, do we get another one in this backpack? What is this? Um, envelopes, okay. Let's check one out. There is a rainbow in the top corner and on the inside, there is a little piece of paper just large enough to write a little note. There are six envelopes in the pack. We have another pencil for writing teeny tiny messages in those teeny tiny envelopes. Another highlighter. This is an eraser. We have another ruler and that's it. And when the mini school supplies have been used, we can use the real little backpacks to hold other things like chapstick, or first aid supplies. I could have totally used those on my walk the other day. The packaging is pretty cool though. I bet we could make something out of it. Craft time! Remove the inserts from the packaging. Using a ruler, I make a line at two and a half inches from the bottom. Draw the line going all the way around. Cut on the line drawn to make a smaller clear box. 
cut black cardstock into strips, glue the paper around the bottom and the top, measure the bottom of the box, cut foam board to those measurements, take the insert from the box, cut it into smaller pieces. I made like a little bridge shape here. I'm gonna glue it onto the foam board, stack and layer more pieces, cover it with hot glue, allow it to dry, then go back and use the glue gun to add texture. Once it dries, paint it. I'm using a dark gray. Now you can really start to see all of those little nooks and crannies. That texture is so awesome. Dry brush it with a lighter color. I'm using a medium brown. Glue on artificial plants. Glue it into the box. Add sand to make a miniature aquarium out of recycled materials. I know, totally unrelated, but I just had this idea and I wanted to try it. I love the way the rocks turned out. And if you look right there, we even have a tiny cave. Now we just need some tiny fish. I went to Target and I didn't find fish, but I did find more real littles. Things you love made micro. These were $3.99. We get two real littles and two mini packs. And yes, brands! Let's remove the plastic, open the box, take out what's inside. How do you like this play by play? Open the plastic bag to reveal a mini pack. Popsicle fruit pops. We're gonna open it up and inside there's another little tiny package that has a Shopkin inside. Oh wait, they're not calling them Shopkins, they're calling them Real Littles. So this is the mini pack and this is the Real Little. Dude, I'm gonna like totally mess that up. Yeah, I'm probably gonna slip up and call them Shopkins. Here we have Hebrew National, Beef Franks, you can see them in the back, that's pretty cool. And inside, we have a little hot dog. Oh wow, look at the coloring. I like the shading on the bun. And this is like a great size for a 1-6 scale doll. Not that we wanna go around eating things with faces, but you know, it would work. Included inside, we found a collector's guide with many of our favorite mini packs. Let's open a few more. I am all about those mini packs because they are perfect for our 1-6 scale world. I mean, some of them are a little oversized, but I'm okay with that. Hebrew National Beef Franks in a blanket. Inside, we will find, wow, a giant Beef Frank in a blanket. Our other mini pack is Eggo pancakes, buttermilk. With the real little buttercup pancake and there's syrup on top. If you turn this one around, it just looks like pancakes. Just saying. The juice ones are definitely my favorite. Their availability is green, so that means they're rare. I don't always have the best of luck with finding rare items in surprise boxes. But maybe today will be different. This is ice cream. Totally not a drink. But that little bowl of ice cream is the cutest. And this is a double. Doubles are good here because it means we have more items to put in our grocery store. I'm really hoping to find some juice. So we're just gonna go through here as quickly as we can and see if we can find juice. Is that juice? No, it's Cheez-Its. That's kind of cute though. I'm not gonna lie, it's really cute. All right, what about you? Juice? No. Choco Taco. The Cheez-It is covered in glitter and somebody already took a bite out of our Choco Taco. Come on, I need some juice. That totally does not feel like juice. Neither does that. Briars Cookies and Cream Ice Cream and 
fruity snacks. I could be mistaken, but I don't think I've ever found a box of Cheez-Its before. But I am still after juice. Okay, what is this? This feels like a box. That does not feel like juice. That does not feel like juice either. Ego home style waffles and kid cuisine. It is in a paperboard or a cardstock box. Here we have another box and a can. Klondike ice cream sandwiches and Rotel diced tomatoes. I have a feeling this is the one. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong, but I still have a feeling. Uh, and I'm most likely wrong. Banquet Mega Bowls. This is actually pretty cute. And Frosted Flakes. The box is made out of a thick cardstock. Hmm. I do like a good cereal box, but that doesn't mean I've given up on my juice. Even though that's not it. And that's not it either. Good Humor, King Cone, and a double. All right, we are starting to run out of these little boxes. And we have Chef Boyardee, Mac and Cheese, and Klondike Minis. Another box of Frosted Flakes, Briar's Blackberry Chocolate Ice Cream, Crunch and Munch, Briar's Natural Vanilla Ice Cream, Eggo Thick and Fluffy Double Chocolatey Waffles, Swiss Miss. This is a drink, but it's not juice. We are so close. Look at this. This little mug is super cute. We are so close. Okay, we are down to our very last box. Come on. We can do this. We got the Swiss Miss. So we do have a drink. Come on, say this is a juice. It is Rice Krispies. Okay, that's still good. We like cereal, we like cereal. Okay, okay. But could this be juice? Is it juice? Come on, come on. No, it is not. Briar's New York Style Cheesecake and Rice Krispies. So there you have it. Our Real Littles collection. From backpacks, to Frosted Flakes. Most of the mini packs will definitely be used to stock our mini grocery store. Let us know in the comments down below if these are a buy or a pass. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at Real Littles, Things You Love Made Micro, and crafted a little fish tank. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at my Froggy Stuff and the Frog Vlog, and we will see you next time. Bye! I hope I'm dry, so I